In this presentation, you'll learn of the following subjects. Why carburize? A brief history of carburizing. The diffusion theory of carbon into the surface of the steel. Methods of carburizing. Potential process variables. Why carburize? Carburizing is perhaps the oldest of all the major surface treatment processes. It is a process that's been around for many, many centuries and will continue to be around for many more centuries. A process that's led the way to steel making simply by forging iron in a fire. The fire, made from wood and charcoal, provides the source of carbon, which is carbon monoxide, and the carbon diffuses into the surface of the iron. The forgings continued, and the hammering continued. The iron is reheated, and more carbon is diffused into the iron, until eventually it became steel. Then it could be heat treated to whatever hardness was required for a fighting sword, a headman's axe, or whatever other weapon of war was required. Therefore, it can be said that the process of carburizing was the process that led to the development of steel. One would ask the simple question, why carburize? Why is it necessary to carburize? What are the advantages of carburizing process? Before one can carburize, many engineering issues are necessary to be discussed and determined. Once these issues have been identified and settled upon, then the carburizing process can begin. This is one process method, or is one process method better than another? That will depend on the product's usage, its performance requirements, and of course the environment in which it will operate in. The reasons to carburize are many, and are given on the next slide are some of the, the issues for consideration for the process of carburizing. This describes the versatility of the process technology of carburizing in terms of accomplished me mechanical properties. We can provide a surface that has good wear resistance to provide a, sur a surface with good compressive stress, to provide a surface with, with good torque resistance, to provide a surface with a good impact strength, to create a component with a combination of high surface hardness and good core hardness, to create a surface with a hard compressive residual stress at the surface within a hard case. There are many choices of, and considerations that one can make and must make before finally selecting on the process of carburizing. First of all, the steel. Secondly, the process technique. Thirdly, distortion considerations. Fourthly, part performance. Part geometry. Economics. And that is the cost of the equipment and the cost of the product surface metallurgy that is required, core metallurgy that is required, the quench medium that is required and its availability, tempering. Please remember that you, even though you've created fresh untempered martensite, which is unstable, it requires tempering. There's no single subject within this complete course of carburizing that is of greater or lesser importance. Each of the part chapters is as important as each other to the process of carburizing. It can be said that there is no one reason that is greater than another to say categorically this is why you must carburize. The process of carburizing has entered a new dimension in terms of metallurgical understanding, process technology based on existing methods of heat treatment, greater demands on the product performance, process costs. The process of carburizing is perhaps the oldest method of surface treatment that is known today in today's manufacturing techniques and process technology. The process of carbur carburizing was initiated when early man first started to work iron ore. His methods of working the iron was by the application of heat.